Hey YouTube, uh, welcome back to the Fragrance Obsessions. I uh, I finally got the Maestro, the Maestro in my book. I I mean this this stuff is fucking sexy as shit. I mean I am so head over heels, madly in love with this fragrance. Uh, you know, like uh, I'll just jump in and get right to it. I mean. This is just sexy, 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 sexy in a bottle, hands down. It, uh, you know, it separates the men from the boys. Uh, this right here, wh when you think about like Dior Sauvage, you're like Dior who, Dior Sauvage who? Like, you know, seriously, honestly, this is, uh, and again, uh, you know, uh, if, if anybody, I mean, Dior Sauvage is a great, great fragrance, but it's just, uh, it's played out. It's just uh, overrated. Um, this one has a, a uniqueness to it that's, um, uh, it, it's not over, the market is not oversaturated with it. Um, it's a, it, you'll be a, a unique individual. I mean, it's, I mean, you know, with this fragrance, this fragrance is like, I, I haven't smelled anybody or anybody that knows about it, unless, I mean, like, uh, besides, like, people on Facebook, I mean, um, yeah, YouTube, or the Fragheads, or somebody that really knows their fragrance, or somebody who works at Macy's, uh, or whatnot, so, uh, I, I, this is, by far, the most versatile, uh, it gives Dior Sauvage a run for its money, um, this is just my thoughts and this is my honest opinion for, uh, you know from what I think um, it's the uh, the longevity it's three three and a half hours more than enough you know um, uh, law and the uh, I'm sorry the projection is three three and a half hours and um, the longevity is about seven hours that's how much I got out of it I um, actually have a friend that lives in my uh, apartment building and he works in Sephora so he used to bring me some samples uh, I was meaning to get this um, I, I bought it online so they just screwed up on the order I never got it so they refunded my money and I, I was like you know what I waited too long I put this off and this is one of my favorite fragrances I mean if not my favorite right now uh, and this is gonna be my signature um, my signature uh, fra uh, fragrance um, hands down until they come up with something else because I, I don't see uh, you know I mean I have plenty of fragrances I play around with I um, you know the you know a few days if I, I could I'll wear one thing and then I get tired and I'll just you know just to change up you know you, you don't get tired but um, again uh, and uh, I'll tell you a, a quick little story with this the, there's this really 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 gorgeous girl that um she we're, we're friends and uh, you know I know she wants to take it uh, to the next level and I'm telling you this girl is uh, a, a 10 plus and um, she loves this stuff. Um, I had like a few decans of this, and she's like, you know what? Every time you you smell this, I just want to uh, just just want to put my head on your chest and just lay down and just sort of smell you and look at you. You know, like this is this is sex in a bottle. Um, you know, and I I, I I don't I'm not blowing this out of proportion. So um, it's sexy, sexy, sexy. It's uh, a year-round fragrance. You can wear it in any season. Um, you uh, so like basically what you get out of this the note breakdown is like uh, aromatic bergamot uh, lavender but what separates uh, this from any other fragrance any um, any masculine fragrance you have a watery metallic coal smell so that's where the carbon comes in with the whole name Luna uh, Rosa carbon um, sexy bottle uh, I think by far the best bottle um, uh, in my book that I have from uh, all my fragrances, um, uh, and again, uh, this this right here, you know, uh, Dior Sauvage is a great fragrance. It's but it, this one gives it a run for its money. Believe me, um, I had it on. I put it on. Um, I put it on. Uh, what was it when I first got it? It was like a few hours ago. Projection again. It's uh, it's. Uh, it's like three hours, three hours, three and a half hours, depending on four hours probably. Um, longevity seven, seven and a half hours, uh, just give or take, you know. Uh, but again, uh, I did a, re uh, a video right uh, uh, the one be uh, before this, so um, it's about the Dolce & Cabana uh, Grey. 
uh, the one gray. Uh, don't get that. I it's not something special. It's you know it smells good. Don't get me wrong, but if you if if you want to get something really good in that same class in a way, go for this one. Go for the you know, any uh, uh, well, f first the uh, Prada uh, Luna Rosa Carbon or the other uh, Luna Rosa line, but this is by far my favorite. Um, okay, so uh, if you have any any questions, um, please feel free to uh, comment. I'll I'll uh, you know reply, and please subscribe and hit the like button.